Yeah. I've been practicing my Widowmaker. More on the way. Need more time. Although the skills don't quite transfer because the controls are, are very different. Uh I don't know what's going on. Hi. Ah. Still have ammo. Get the gun, Sky. It's very good cover this guy takes. You guys kill him. They're not letting up. Watch for more shuttles. Almost there. Do. Are they letting up? Oh, the shuttles are coming from another. No, that's not what I want. They're gonna die, aren't they? Oh, hi. Sometimes it's six shots, one kill. Missile, la missile launcher. That's interesting. I only have the one, though. You guys are okay with that? Be careful. What is wrong with you? Atlas deployed. Shepard, take that thing down now. There we go. There they are. Oh, crap. Okay. Can we get them in the sky? Man, the, 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 the character design for the enemies in this game is really good. They look cool. They look unique. I mean, unique as in it's... Inspired in other things, but uh, really cool, amazing. Commander, firewalls down. I'm in. Spirits, Cerberus hacked the trigger mechanism. It's set to death. The what? Disarm it. No time. I have to separate the trigger from the bomb now. Cover me. Radio chatter coming in from Krogan Forces planet side. Sounds like they started sweeping out the remaining Cerberus troops. Hate to be the guy who told the Krogan about that surprise package. You get out all right? Sounds like it got ugly down there. The Tarians took a lot of casualties, Joker. The Primarch's son included. Understood, Commander. Joker out. 
I can't count the times I've watched friends risk everything for a cause. To see the lieutenant die for us, for his platoon, it hits close to home. It does. Yeah, it's all the, the, the sound strategy, isn't it? Winning this war will have a high price. I agree. The losses are unfortunate, Shepard. But preserving the peace between Turians and Krogan could prevent the deaths of millions. I know, Edie. But right now, I just don't give a damn about politics. It's a big bomb that will kill millions. Good work on Tachunka, Commander. Stopping that bomb prevented the war between the Turians and the Krogan. We can't afford that kind of division right now. Joker said the Krogan are recovering the bomb? They moved in, won't allow Turians to send in recovery crews to help. Understandable. The situation is fragile at the moment. With Rex and the Primarch aboard the Normandy, you've got a situation brewing. We don't have a solid alliance between those two yet. Keep the peace, Commander. That's an order. Yes, sir. I don't give a shit about politics. Pack it out. Yes, sir. We couldn't risk another galactic war with the Krogan. The Genophage wasn't enough? You had to plant a bomb on my planet? The decision was made hundreds of years ago. So much has changed. Not enough to tell us about the bomb, coward. Hey. It's fair, actually. Not enough. To, uh, that's, that's, that's fair. But I like the renegade option here. I, 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 let's, let's see where this is going. The Reapers are out there destroying the galaxy, and you want to fight about this. Primark, you had a bomb on Tachunka. And Rex, in the Turian's place, you would have done the same damn thing. Shepard. It's over. His own son died today making this right. Please, Commander. It's all right. I didn't like him anyway. Yes, fine. Shepard, you made your point. We have stronger enemies to face. We do. Also, the bomb's gone, so that's nice. <clears throat> I understand your reservations before, Commander, but I hope you now understand the secrecy. Mm. No, I don't understand the secrecy. The same way I don't understand how you didn't tell the Krogan about the bomb and, you know, ask for help to disarm it. Uh, I mean, because, I, I mean, I, I understand that's the decision you made as Turians or whatever. They decided not to tell the Krogan. And, and I understand that part, that they decided that, but I don't agree with that decision, so I don't understand in, in that sense. So uh, the secrecy also I don't understand. You kept this a secret and then put your son in charge? He couldn't handle it. Yes. You're right, Commander. It was a mistake not to trust you. I know that now. My son, he died with the respect of his men. I wanted to thank you for that. His sacrifice will be recorded in the histories of the Ninth Platoon. Something any father would be proud of. Yes, sir. He would say that more to comfort himself than... than to actually state it outright. But I don't know that that's the intention of the writers there. He's taking it... I mean, realistically speaking... We wouldn't be able to tell grief from body language you know, from from uh, a Turian uh, in in you know realistic terms, but this isn't realism. This is a story, so uh, his body language doesn't transpire, and his words even don't transpire a lot of grief. And uh, so I'm, I'm 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 yeah, I don't I'm not reading into that line too much. I don't know. It just sort of feels like. He kind of wanted his son out of the picture or something. I don't know. <laughs> Again, Commander, thank you for ensuring my son died with honor. It's all a Turian father can hope for. But this is war. The time for mourning is later. Is there something you need? You see? You see? This is what I'm talking about. 
Despite everything, Primarch, I'm sorry for your loss. Despite the fact that you didn't like him. Thank you, Commander. And I know I'm not the first to lose their son to this war. Needless to say, I'm committed to stopping the Reapers. That's all. Of course, Commander. That is all. A Turians pull another move like that, Shepard, and this alliance is off. Just bear with me, Rex. This is hard for all of us. I've got Reapers on my planet, a bomb that almost blew up my planet, and if those two fail, the Genophage to make sure we all go extinct anyway. I don't want to hear about who has it hard. Understood. Good. Now is there something you need? Nope. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Anytime. Yep. It's, uh, it's pretty, pretty obvious. Uh, my Renegade, I, I will get up there. I'll get up there. Could, could have, I, I want to see more scars in my face. That's like the big incentive behind everything is just have a lot of scars. So, um, I don't know if I mentioned it in this Let's Play before. Uh, it, and, uh, yeah, if you, if you don't know what's going on with my face, um, in the second game, it is explained. It's 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 sort of a throwaway line, but it is explained that uh, our body uh, is not necessarily coping with the stress of being mean, and by mean I mean renegade. Uh, and uh, so some scars are showing up. And the reason why the scars are showing up is because our body has been reconstructed using Cerberus tech, and that's what happens at the beginning of Mass Effect Two. And uh, that's also related to the uh, the med bay here in in the in the Normandy where we can remove the scars if we want. So we basically can be Renegade and not look like Renegade. Uh, but obviously, you know, the, nobody does that because the b large part of the reason why you are Renegade is to have the scars. I mean, it's not a large part, but it, it is It is a part. It is a part of the reason. So Reapers don't have colonies. You can't bomb them or you're bombing what's left of your own planet. They make their own soldiers out of our civilians. They don't have supply lines. How do you beat something like that? I'll let you know if I think of something. They don't have supply lines? Th I didn't know that. It's never explained, honestly. But in this game, apparently, the fact that the Krogans do need supplies is 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 bad. It's, it's shown as a weird thing uh, over there with the. With Joker, so I, I don't know what this game thinks of supply lines, honestly. So we don't have any new emails. I heard what Victor's did. He was a brave man. I don't think I could... Uh, there I go again. I was going to say that I could never do that. But? But I was wrong. Being here, watching you, you've shown me what it means to serve in the Alliance. You're a good officer, Trainer. Glad you finally realize it. Thanks. Not that I'm volunteering for bomb jump duty. I'd suggest sending someone who has armor first, if possible. Commander? If possible. We can't really engage too much with this sacrifice, honestly. Uh, it's not shown as a necessity any amount of time before it happens to be a necessity. So it's just like, oops, he died. So it's just like, you know... It, it'd be cooler if we knew in advance that oh, somebody's going to need to stay in the asteroid to detonate the bomb. That's a reference, if you don't know what I mean. Uh, and if, you know, if, if the, and also the, the criticism is a reference as well to the same thing. But uh, yeah, it'd be cooler if we knew in advance and then it'd be like, I'll be the one. Victory at any cost. Which is a bad moral of the story. Victory at any cost is bad moral. But we, we skip past, right past the morals of the story because it doesn't, those don't matter. What do matter is the minutia of the storytelling. That's what I like to, to nitpick on things that also don't matter. <laughs> All right, here's another one. Uh, dates back to the Rachni Wars. So a Krogan and a Salarian have landed on a Rachni world for a top secret mission. That is unlikely. Salarians rarely took part in raids on Rachni occupied worlds directly. <sighs> Missing the point. So the two guys are climbing up a hill going through this nasty green fog. And as they get near the top, they come out of the fog and the Salarian sees thousands of Rachni. He looks over at the Krogan and says, Whoa, well, that makes me nervous. The Krogan says, you think that's scary? When this is over, I have to go back down through that fog by myself. The implication being that the Salarian soldier would be dead. 
Yes. Thank you for killing the 2,000-year-old joke. That joke plays to racial stereotypes on both sides. The Krogan appears brutish and insensitive, while the Salarian appears weak. Stereotypes such as exemplified here led to the development and use of the genophage. Well... well, yeah. It's also one of the only jokes you'll hear both Salarians and Krogan telling. Comedy isn't really about being nice. Sometimes it's a way to air out the ugly things people think. Sometimes it is. <laughs> you gotta love the Turians. After they beat you down and sterilize you, they strap a big old bomb to your planet. You know, just in case you get uppity again someday. I'm just glad we disarmed it. Damn right. The Krogan are pretty tough. I'd rather it be Reaper asses getting kicked and not ours. Yeah, it's just, it's just about, you know, it's sometimes just about the ugly things that we say. It's what, it's what that is. Commander? Mm-hmm. What's new, Edie? Admiral Anderson reports that the Reapers on Earth are broadcasting orders. They are demanding human leaders into their superstructures in order to negotiate peace. Anybody aboard a Reaper's gonna be indoctrinated. Exactly. This is a ruse to pacify the populace during that process. Citizens who are busy waiting are not busy fighting. It is likely that the governments of Earth will soon enact laws punishing those who attack the Reaper occupiers. Again, this will be done in the name of peace. Tell Anderson we're moving as fast as we can. Hello, Shepard. How are you feeling? I'm fine. Are you feeling hot? Cold? Warm? Lukewarm? Hungry? Thirsty? Overly excited? Overly tired, or maybe... I said I'm fine. I'll put that down as mildly irritable. You don't have to worry so much about me. Of course I do. Because I'm so valuable to science? Because Rex would find new uses for the Solarian digestive tract if I let anything happen to you. And I consider you a friend. Thank you. Or the not killing each other kind of friend. Say that again? The population of the colony world of Tyvor has been killed. I don't understand. The Reapers have been taking people alive. It was self-inflicted. When Reaper forces invaded, Tyvor's colonists detonated nuclear weapons inside their cities. Goddess. Their deaths would have been instantaneous, Doctor. Thank you, Glyph. That'll be all. Would they be instantaneous? Die. Because that's not what happens with nuclear weapons. I mean, for many people it is, but not for the majority of them. Well, I suppose it depends on the on the payload. Working on anything? I'm helping decode some of the Crucible's designs, or trying to. Theoretical particle physics based on specialized base 12 mathematics aren't exactly my specialty. We're cobbling together knowledge from disciplines that take lifetimes to master. I'd trade my last hundred years to resurrect even one Prothean scientist to help us. The Krogan are gearing up for a full-scale war. It's nearly indistinguishable from how they normally operate on Tachanka, really. Thanks for coming by. It's funny that she mentions Base 12 Mathematics. Um, the base that you calculate things with doesn't, doesn't really have, affect mathematics. Um, Numerology is affected by the base that you calculate things, but a number is a number, whether it's binary, which would be base 2, or uh, base 10, which is how uh, the, the Western system works, or base 12, which is the counting system of a lot of cultures throughout history, uh, or, or, or base 16, for example, which would be the byte system. It's, it, or actually, it's base 8 for a byte, but we, we think of it as base 16 because it's the double byte sort of number either way and if you're wondering what that byte system is it's the hexadecimal that's what the hexadecimal means base 12 uh, base 16 it's things like you know the color codes for rgb and a pleasure to see you yeah and uh, and things like that yeah it's a pleasure i'm definitely not boring at all talking about base 16 who doesn't like that i heard what happened sounds like lieutenant tarquin never hesitated he didn't well, whatever he was before, he'll be remembered for this. Sacrifice among my people is expected. But saying that, he did us proud. Yes, you there? I'm here, Rex. I'll assume you didn't know about this. My good friend wouldn't hide the fact that his people... 
Rex, I was just as much in the dark as you. I'm sorry, I planted a doomsday bomb on my planet, right? Rex, I was just as much in the dark as you, honest. I'd be happy to give Krogan some lessons on relaxing. <laughs> and we'd be happy to feed you to a thresher maw. Rex out. And next time, Shepard, don't let him near the intercom. Is he actually relaxed? Not in Mass Effect 2, he isn't. He's always super angry. And he, in, his, his main mission is of him being super angry. Man, they, they, did they forget who Garrus is? He's now the, the calibrations guy who's relaxed? What? I don't know what Turian came up with the idea, but a doomsday bomb was damned ingenious. Embarrassing now, but ingenious back then. Yeah, the, like, the problem was so. Let's make it clear here. What is the problem with a doomsday bomb? It isn't, well, it is a moral thing as well, but objectively speaking, the problem with a doomsday bomb is the lack of accountability and it, it's overkill. It's the same problem as having nuclear weapons, right? Um, like, if you take morals out of it, having nuclear weapons is a bad thing because it uh, blo it blows it backfires. It backfires in the future. Like just because you are not gonna use the nuclear weapons right now, it doesn't mean that the people who are gonna come next aren't gonna use them. Uh, I mean, I'm oversimplifying, but it, the the like having it's the the like it's It's more. It's a, a pragmatic issue more necessary more than necessarily a moral issue. Morally speaking, it is wrong because of the same reason that the genophase is wrong. But uh, pragmatically speaking, it is bad because of the shit that we got ourselves in, and in you know this is, was always bound to happen. And like, it's just, it's it's not a genius idea. I don't understand. I. Uh, I don't understand why we can challenge that notion that it's a genius idea. It's not. It's a bad idea. We just proved it, it through the story. I'm glad Rex is taking this so well. My people haven't exactly treated his kind with charity over the years. Maybe later. Maybe later you will, yeah. Well, it's the the problem with the Krogan is that they they uh, they were at war with a lot of people, so it's just like the people treating each other one way or another is is just much of a muchness really uh it's it's the it's the shit like the doomsday devices that that really is a problem nobody cares about how you treat the individuals i mean the individuals do care admittedly but yeah breaking now the arcturus station destroyed and the alliance parliament feared dead but admiral stephen hackett says the fleets can regroup We'll hear it from him right here in the battle space. Commander. Mm-hmm. Gabby, is it true you helped repair Edie's mobile frame after that last mission? She just needed an extra pair of hands. I am an engineer, remember? Were oils and lubricants involved? Was there any moaning? In your dreams, Kenneth. Uh, if only my imagination was that good. Why, why, are, wh why, why do you put up with him? I oh, know it's it's him here, but uh, whatever. Sometimes keeping the grid balanced is pure murder. Shepard. My board is green. My board is green. <laughs> that that's the beginning of a song. That last drop on Tachanka was intense. I tried providing air support, but the sky was so full of Cerberus, it was like someone kicked a hornet's nest. Ma'am. We should look at our armor. Too bad about Tarquin. I was starting to like him. Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? Mm-hmm. Let's look at our armor here. Oh, this is where we buy things. There we go. There we go. New weapons and armor. There we go. 
pretty good. I didn't know about that, but uh, now we do. What missions are we going to do? The thermal heat pipe. Let's do that. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. Here it is. Any opened goods can only be returned for store credit. Please visit any of our Elkos Combine affiliate branches for any... Good news. Thanks, Commander. That GX-12 thermal pipe arrived. We're performing the modifications right now. So, how did I get volunteered to crawl through the ducts? You're the power control engineer, not me. Damn hot in here. Hey, didn't Adam say that all the Normandy is Edie? Kenneth, stop right there. Just didn't tell Joker. He'll get jealous. We're still working on the thermal modifications. Should be done pretty soon. Mm-hmm. Kenneth is still installing the thermal conduit down in the crawl space. We'll have a report later. Yeah, a report to HR. Why does he insist on doing that? People tell him specifically to not do it. <laughs> to not say those things. It's not like Edie. Edie's like, oh, Joker likes me. It's all right. Commander. But no. She's telling him to stop. 